Hey guys, Dan here from VHix411. Today I have a Zentrales Gateway. It's a center gateway module on a Mercedes. Very common for it to get flooded. Now we have an original one and a new one. I will show you how the cloning process works. Make sure when getting one part numbers have to match so in this case you can see right here 864 this is the body style and then the rest is the last 62 62 so make sure they match as you can see this guy right here the plug it is corroded this one's not these guys are on the floor of the car when they get water it starts whole kinds of issues on a Mercedes the communication is one of them and the list just goes on while the lights can be triggered on stuff don't work because the computers communicate through this guy this is why it's called the gateway so every communication line goes through here now let me get it under my microscope and show you you won't see it here it's super corroded in here this is the original one so as you can see it started corroding that that thing is shorting out that's how corroded it is and on this side this sand so that's what the corrosion does over time when it gets water it starts shorting out and this computer goes bad all right i will show you a process of cloning this we will take it apart I will be using car probe for this this guy right here I will start out with the one that is flooded so we will be connecting to the flooded one this thing has a Motorola MPU so it's a Motorola processor if you can see it it's right there that's the corroded guy let's hope we can read that uh, I will just follow the instructions according to the part number here so I'll just go to 164 and it doesn't have exact same part number as I have it doesn't matter because we are able to read this processor this is the Motorola 9s 12DT processor so we'll just connect just like in the picture so I will scratch it a little bit so I have a good connection and here so four points I'm using the 810 connector and I will put some solder now that I got my solder I will follow the instructions according to car probe I will use a brown a blue right next to it a red right over here and a gray so I got my power ground and reset communication lines connected so everything's connected good I will click next I'll go EEPROM mode and save the original now as you can see a lot of gibberish but if you have the software like for instance we do know this is the VIN if you have the software you can actually decode it first I will save it as always always save what you read so it's gonna be A164 540 56 62 
and I will put this original all right so now that I saved it I will show you what kind of information does this thing have inside that's why the dealer sometimes can't reprogram a used gateway because it's already been programmed to another car but we can of course so as you can see here's the VIN number of the car here's the miles of the car and then all the service interval information which is how many days pa you passed your service and when you did it so it gives you the kilometers which is the miles and the service so service record miles and of course the VIN number so now that I read the original one we're gonna on solder remove it and I will do the same exact thing with this guy right here I'll scratch this scratch this scratch and scratch I can always go back if you don't know ex exactly where to solder what color so I will solder 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 all right I solder put some solder on my connection points over there on the good working unit and do the same thing follow the instructions according to car probe all right so i did connect the good working unit and as you can see the good working unit the customer bought from a junkyard it has different VIN number, different miles, different service interval record as you can see different VIN everything's different we always save the new as new that way we have files in case something goes wrong and I will load up the original one 164 that is the original one and push right so that's how easy to clone it if you have the right tool cloning the VIN number cloning the miles cloning cloning the service interval as soon as it's done we're gonna double check if we got the right VIN and everything in there so verified it did a good job Let's just read it, make sure we got the right bin in there. All right, so this is the correct bin from original, correct miles, correct service records. Now what we're gonna do is just remove it. and make sure the solder is cleaned up no connections left in there and put this together and this thing is done now if you do have a very very bad gateway module central gateway module and it's impossible to get the original VIN number the miles and the service record we can also program those we will just have to manually write the VIN number of your vehicle we will have to write the miles of your car and then according to that miles how many service records it should have had now if you need the service at the end of this video you can click on the link Carmen Auto can do the service for you if you like this video give it like subscribe and share thanks for watching